weird sort of reaction to the number one album on social media because i guess most people don't listen to john what's his name john baptiste or john baptiste is that his name saying that yeah john baptiste i guess not a lot of people listen to him but his album called we are one album of the you know album of the year which you know is what it is don't really care because i don't listen to it pop duo group performance kiss me real doja cat and scissor i think that's well deserved when that track originally came out I think I had it playing on replay for like a week straight. And it's the kind of tune when it kind of plays randomly in some store that you're shopping at or you're in, you can't help but bop in. Do you know what I mean? They're, both of their voices go together so well. The hook is fantastic. It's just, it's such a bright and bubbly, optimistic tune. It's kind of, the, it's kind of the, if, I, if I'm going to say this, it's, it's such an anti-pandemic song because it feels like for me, I don't know if you're the same, I feel like in the pandemic music hasn't necessarily sounded great because I guess creatively it's hard to kind of feel optimistic and joyful or whatever about the world when you know most you know half of the world is under, under sort of lockdown people artists and stuff can't necessarily you know travel freely they can't book shows they can't meet their fans or whatever right everyone's been impacted in some way and for sure for as an artist especially one that kind of you know maybe feeds off the energy and the vibes of your fan base and the, what's going on in the world in general it can be difficult i guess to kind of pick yourself up and feel inspired to create something fresh light and airy um you know that kind of just gives you good vibes sort of thing right it can, i'd imagine so obviously you can you know make a protest song or whatnot but just creating a fun record would probably be difficult but for whatever reason they managed to do it with kiss me more like it's just so good really really good man so i give them credit olivia rodrigo because she's flipping independent and people counted her out I'd, I'd say new artist is fine too that album what is it butters or cups or whatever it's called what's it called the album anyway whatever the album is i enjoyed it um, i listened to it a couple of times front to back and i didn't skip one track so i'll give her that one um record of the year silk sonic leader the open yeah i would give him that i don't think i'd say with silk sonic is that that album came and went i think the album i think the singles were the singles sounded better when they dropped and then when you listen to via the album they sounded worse it doesn't necessarily work that way right usually you hear a single you don't like it and then it sounds better when you listen to the album in sequence but for every reason it worked the opposite with them um, silk sonic and i don't know why maybe the album was too short whatever it just didn't last for me it really didn't last in my rotation at all i listened to it for about less than a week i would say and after that i kind of haven't just revisited it ever since which is a real shame because you know anderson pack and flipping bruno mars you know what i mean that's a deadly deadly duo if ever there was one but hey it continues my favorite obviously would um was definitely rap album and i was super happy for tyler he definitely definitely deserved it for call me if you get lost um i still think you know not enough gets spoken about how good of an album that is i'm just going through my album actually to see the track that I went to say was one of my favorites that I still play again and again and that really hit home with me in terms of the lyrics. It definitely has to be um let's scroll down uh Wilshire. Wilshire, right? Like Wilshire is so real to me in my situation that I was going through at the time when it dropped that it legitimately made me cry. Like Wilshire when I first heard it from front to back, like like I felt it. I felt it to my bones and again usually music doesn't really have that sort of effect on me that way gospel music used to have that effect on me back in the day because that, that most has to do because i was in church as well i mean i was under the presence of god do you know what i mean i was in the vibes but for the most part music doesn't necessarily make me cry i would say it makes me feel elated you know i feel joyful whatever but i legitimately shed a tear listening to all shit like legitimately shed a tear like it, it hit home for me man those lyrics like i don't want to you know bait anyone up especially by reading it because it's going to be super obvious what i'm talking about when i read over the lyrics again but honestly there's a few bars in there maybe towards the end that oh, god damn it man tyler man he really tugged on my heartstrings so big up him for winning that um song um grammy award winning for the song was leader the open 
another one there reggae album that was a funny one called soja beauty in the silence it's a all white reggae group who won it ahead of all these other you know black people that was hilarious very much in tune with the grammys but hey whatever i don't listen to reggae i also have got no opinion on that either way but it's just funny optically to see all these white guys you know with their white dreads winning an award for reggae album of the year <laughs> Uh, le jokes le jokes um latin pop album for some reason there's a whole sector of latin pop that doesn't include you know reggaeton from the little i can say yeah unless these guys do do reggaeton i don't know but that's interesting observation wise um pop solo performance Oliver rodrigo driving license i don't really know rap song of the year jail interesting that um really interesting that um because there's a version of this without there's a version of this with um what's his face right with uh with um the baby did he get a record too or not personally i would have given it to family ties on my life personally weird songs in there anyway there's many more songs i would have added on there but if it was me i would have even given it to at a stretch i'd say let's go for family ties i think family ties would definitely get it for me just in terms of how you know how that, that track was kind of constructed the places it goes what it sounds like the fact that for me it, it kind of reintroduced baby keem like he's 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 a far more well-rounded rapper than he was when he first popped out i think um he's definitely you know he's definitely kind of um gained from maybe the prolonged time that he kind of spent on the sidelines or away from the kind of limelight kind of honing his craft so that was good music video freedom i don't know, know about that one melodic hurricane nice uh, music album pop album but yeah you get the drift in it anyway so quickly wanting to touch on tired of creator's speech because i thought it was pretty cool um he obviously accepted his grammy in the most tired of creator way ever by taking a hike somewhere with his friend i think it's taco there was here with him they're riding bikes with his flipping um what was it what's that what, what's that car called i'm not really a big car guy i don't know was it a rose race truck in the background there um that he pulled up on with these flipping um 26 inch bmx's or whatnot 29 inch bmx's riding bikes and he decided to jump on instagram live and accept his grammy award in the middle of some hike somewhere pretty cool i didn't go i didn't go to the grammy so i was gonna do a thank you on do my speech on here oh shit nigga the cheesecake factory in here y'all nigga almost fell Yes, nigga. Oh, nigga, nigga. All right. Um, I'm doing. I'm not at the Grammys. I don't know where I am. <laughs> doing what I do best. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um, first off, I'm hyped. Thank you to DJ Drama. You are fucking so important to rap music. Grills, thank you to all of my friends for being my cheerleaders. Thank you to my whole team, the whole squad. Vic, Neil, thank you. To where I could just make a album where I just flex all goddamn day. Uh, uh, inspired helping rap off this fucking album and getting it done. Um, and thank you to Stan picked it up again. And I know you're seething and angry and uh, no one listens to that album. These arena tours that are selling out says different. And if you put that much energy into something maybe everyone will be proud of you too who's he talking about there is he talking about dj callister that's an interesting kind of long lasting beef that's been brewing in it it'd be awesome though also to see going forward if they somehow end up working together imagine tyler was able to bring out the best in dj Khaled. like he actually got a number one album or he actually got an, a grammy award-winning album or an album that sold you know have a thousand that he wants to sell or no, that was critically acclaimed because that's the one thing you get from DJ Khaled. He seems like somebody, despite his success, he's still chasing critical acclaim, but he doesn't make music that would interest critics, isn't it? It's all kind of formulaic and boring and one note and forgetful and kind of it kind of comes and goes, isn't it? All of it. Like you think of even um 
you think of what's that track with Rihanna and what's his name? And that guy, uh, you know what I'm talking about, right? With a dun, 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 that kind of salsa tune, right? Whatever that tune is called. That tune was everywhere for whenever, whenever it dropped. And then as soon as it dropped, within a week, it kind of died. And I know it because at the time it dropped, I remember I was DJing that weekend. I think it might have dropped, let's say, on a Friday. And I was maybe DJing the following weekend. By the time the following weekend came out, it sounded dated. It legitimately sounded dated. It legitimately got like a bit of a groan you know some sort of reaction here and there but no one really reacted to it the way i thought they react to it which led me to believe which led me to kind of come to the conclusion of like oh shit dj kelly's music doesn't age well at all like it's very microwavable sort of music but i would be interested to see tyler work with dj k in the future i think that'd be pretty cool love to everyone and uh yeah the sun is fucking beaming bitch call me if you get lost definitely not finished and uh, 12 years in, got a second one. Didn't expect it. So let's see what the fuck is next. I do not know what the fuck I'm going to do, but figuring that out. Thank y'all. Big love. How's that not inspiring, right? How's that not inspiring as a kid? It might, that's the thing I must, that's the thing I've got to give people this credit for, right? In general, for kind of documenting this sort of stuff, right? Having your flipping truck at the back there with your bikes and your best friend hanging out, living your best life, like kids out nowadays looking at that must think you know what I'm, whatever way i'm gonna do it it doesn't matter if you're gonna do it winning a grammy it doesn't matter if you're gonna do it opening a cake shop or whatnot like it's cool to see this stuff in real time to see people that look like you dress like you into the same stuff like you the same stuff that you're into if you care about the race or stuff you know people that are actually from the same place that you're from all that stuff blah 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 it's super super important and um that's maybe why sometimes these awards it's, it's weird to say this right but that's what sometimes i think these awards they don't necessarily need to be even given to somebody based mostly on their musical talent or whatever you know that album brought to have much joy that album brought to people in that given year sometimes it can just be given to somebody because of the outsized influence they've had on culture in that period of whatever they kind of judge albums from that can cut that's just sometimes kind of go into it that's why sometimes that's why i look back at the time that macklemore won that grammy ahead of kendrick where it's like that was a missed moment you know what i mean you'd never know who you never know the sort of again if you if you didn't chase your dreams because kendrick didn't win an album then you probably were never going to chase your dreams anyway but i just think in terms of kind of encapsulating a moment and putting like a full stop on it and kind of saying hey this is what happened in that era giving someone like Kendrick an album at that time would have just been so cool for the scene, for the genre, um, for the world, for kids, whatever coming up, for everything. I mean, it would have really set an interesting precedent going forward because I think now, you know, I'm, I'm always a big believer in, you know, or I'm, or I'm always kind of optimistic that the future is going to be incredible. But I generally think like, imagine, right? I was obsessed with Pharrell when I was growing up, obsessed especially with his music more so the fashion i didn't really care about because i was wearing that stuff when i was growing up right? i was wearing bape and bbc and if, if anything back then some of us even saw pharrell as a poser if that's if that makes any sense back then back in the day my generation of guys thought pharrell was a poser mostly for the skateboarding stuff but you know sometimes it was all for the fashion and how nigo was kind of you know basically um you know couldn't kind of let let him go right as soon as he found pharrell stumbled across him like he was kind of that was his guy and most people kind of looked at him like a bit of a lame but if pharrell was able to inspire somebody of a talent like like if, if pharrell was able to inspire somebody like a tyler to come out and create what he's created just imagine what tyler's gonna be able to influence going forward in the next 10 20 30 years what the next generation is going to look like what that music is going to sound like it's going to be incredible to see i really can't wait to see what that looks like like the next tyler sort of like protege or whether it's a group or a female or whatever it's going to be so cool to see it really really is going to be cool to see but yeah congrats to tyler call me if you get lost of course like i said album of the year for me as soon as i heard it it was like album of the year like number one like there's no other contender for me i played it many many times will shoot it's for sure one of my favorite tracks on there maybe second to massa maybe second massa comes here maybe run it up um and rise i'd say they're probably one of two of my favorites or my favorites on the album itself but yeah big up tyler um that award was much much deserved i think